he's all driving a green truck up. little bit of filming in the morning tried to get some of the guys but I try and like block certain things because <laughs> they do some funny things say some weird things so I try and like film them but not film them but it's nice to show them every now and then but I didn't really get them too much you know that Sun was blurring out the, uh, the lens so but we're here in Tonalia gonna do some work back here got everybody with me well almost everyone just missing the Steve but just driving down this dirt road and you know decided I should pull out the camera and uh, yeah it was so nice riding in this morning cold in Navajo mountain and then when I got to a certain part through the canyon it just got warm <laughs> I was telling Harvin about it, it just got like 10 degrees warmer and that cold air went away and it was like a nice warm breeze. But once I hit like crossroads and Shanto area, just cold again. <laughs> I, was, I was like, holy cow, just like tensed up. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, I did that little filming spot in front of the uh, the yard. There's this dog that's been hanging around and uh, that little turd stole my glove because it kind of fell out of my hand and it dropped on the ground and I was trying to put the camera back in the, the bag to move on to the next one and that little turd took my glove and took off running I was like no <laughs> I had to chase after it with the bike but luckily he uh, she dropped it and then took off and I was like that's my glove <laughs> but yeah we got like a all hands meeting coming up pretty soon so kind of want to stop and have like the windmill behind me I'm trying to be that guy to be known for having cool backgrounds <laughs> but just the uh, crossed over the railroad tracks and uh, the guys are behind me somewhere. I got 275 behind me. So nobody with me in this one. All the guys are in the other trucks. But for one of the guys that watches this channel out in Navajo Mountain, I'm not going to say the name out loud because, you know, keep a little discretion about it. Nate was telling me that you were giving thumbs up. You wanted to say that you liked the, the video. And I want to say thanks. Thanks for watching. It's always fun. You see me on the bike riding towards Navajo Mountain. You know, wave, whatever. However you want to do it. Sometimes I see it, sometimes I don't. There was a, one car that was going by, waved at me, and it was like, last second. <laughs> I did that. I hope they saw it, but I don't know. It was like very last second, but right now it's like 54 degrees, so it's it's feeling pretty good. Just oh. <laughs> this is that windmill I was talking about. I think it'll be cool to have that in the background. I wish I could have it in the background for that all hands meeting, but I still have a lot of time left. Kind of curious where the other guys are. I came in from that side, and then that's another like way to get here. There's like two separate ways. That's kind of like the easier way. But yeah. lost his phone where take i think did you take the toilet we buried the phone inside of here somewhere buried you buried The 
Two lovebirds. They don't talk much. <laughs> Robin, Harvin, sharing their chips, eating underneath the uh, tree, feeding each other chips actually. But those guys poured that concrete, and it's getting so bright. They poured the concrete, and uh, now it's just drying. Next, we're gonna fix some of the sidings on the house, make it a little decent cover the holes make it look good and then hopefully by next week it's uh the concrete starts to dry and then uh we can start insulation and drywall so we get to do these things called bathroom upgrades bathroom additions and stuff like that and that one we're gonna fix i don't know who fixed who started it but it was like left halfway finished one side of the floor was done for like the toilet side but the entrance to get in there was not finished Mike was making fun of me because when I walked in there I fell down but it's really cool to see. some of these places are so far that you see these like hidden gems older vehicles some uh, nice square body trucks or some cool Fords I'm a Ford guy so that's pretty cool. This. You really want it, but you know, it's that's a lot of money to invest to get trying to get it started, get it running. Then you see something very awesome. Come across a little Im nice Impala. It's a 68 Impala. Very, very nice. There's like not a lot of damage to the body. Looks like they were trying to sand it down but it's starting to rust it still has the impala badging the chevrolet badging and a lot of the uh interior is like really nice it's a little warm but you know the other side is really cool because it still has the original impala and the grill still looks very mint and the impala badgings right there so cool hidden gems we've done a lot of like these 275s so we've traveled a lot of uh western agency navajo nation back roads homes are like super duper far and there's some nice ones that we've seen as like a some chargers challenger styles and then a mustang fastback i want that one <laughs> but yeah it's pretty cool we're just gonna finish up here get the sightings on and then should call it a day it's nice and warm i had to take my layers off here i was hoping they were all gonna pass me like walk drive by me and leave <laughs> Cause I was gonna get a shot of all of them, but this truck is in the way of everybody, and they're kind of like in a convoy. <laughs> but you know, these guys did a really great job. They fixed the sidings. The siding on the this bathroom edition was only the OSB. So what these guys did, they uh, you know, we poured concrete. Me and Nate were just covered in that concrete dust. Then after that. The guys uh, fixed some of the siding, put some Tyvek paper on the side, and then put sidings up and finished the siding. And next up on the to-do list for this house is hopefully that concrete dries by like Monday throughout the weekend. Uh, and then that Monday we're hoping to uh, head down to like Flagstaff and pick up bunch of drywall insulation some tape mud stuff like that and just finish the inside the inside's the same way there's no drywall on the side there's no insulation so we're hoping to like finish it seal it plug any holes patch any holes 
And then on the outside, we're gonna still complete it as well. Put some uh, trimming pieces on there. Finish the the roof part that covers the uh, the siding. And the one that built that little bathroom addition didn't really extend the roof over, so we had to figure that out. But it looks great. So we're hoping like to get it done so she can use her bathroom and uh, it's, it's awesome. It looks pretty good already and it's just gonna get better. <laughs> but yeah, I was hoping the guys were gonna be like past me and then I was gonna get a shot of them. There's some, some horses on the, whoa. Some horses over there. You guys can kind of see them. But, let's get on back to the yard. Yeah, that was, a, that was a fun day. Very, very fun. Did a lot of work. <laughs> I always thought like, maybe this is the first time Nate has actually seen me work that hard. <laughs> probably, he's probably never really seen me work that hard. I'm usually always, you know, helping out or getting everybody ready. But, I thought it was fun. Did a lot of uh, lifting on the... Uh, concrete bags they're uh, 80 pounds each and then helping Nate was helping me uh, putting them into the cement mixer mixing it up and then dumping water in there so that was a lot of fun moving the bags over trying to get the cement cement mixer to the back of the trailer that was a whole lot of fun I had to unpallet it and then move it and then shift it it was, it was a little bit of a hectic moment but yeah, we all made it back here. It was so, so much fun doing something different. And then I had Harvin try that thing out. He enjoyed it. He just had a big smile. So I was like, hey, you need to get one now. <laughs> so yeah, it, man, it's a nice, nice day. It, it's nice and warm. It's like 70 degrees. So I'm really excited to take a ride back. I didn't take the GoPro. So, I just did a little, little montage in the beginning, but didn't take the GoPro. Just going to ride slow, just enjoy my ride back and not mess around too much with the GoPro. And plus, I don't like the, that chin mount. It's a Dango, I think, I think I'm pronouncing it right, but it's like a clip. It's a really strong clip, but like I said before, you can't really look down because it hits you right there. But yeah, it was very fun. I keep saying that. We had all the trucks being utilized, which was uh, very funny to see. 450 had dirt. That truck had the trailer and all the uh, cinder concrete bags. That truck had all the tools, the OSB, the sidings, and then the other truck had the uh, 275 with all the water in there. So. They were all being utilized for a certain certain job, so it was really fun. Nice to get that thing back out. Probably shakes a lot, but yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed my little video. You guys saw that cool uh, Chevelle. Wait, no. Can't remember the name. <laughs> the uh, Impala. Can't, can't think of it. But I hope you guys liked the Impala. Always nice to see a gem out there like that it's really almost mint so it's really cool to see still had the motor in there too so keep that in mind but yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video i had a lot of fun all the guys had a lot of fun they were huffing and puffing just like me and uh i'll catch you guys in the next one <laughs>